Your book, Core of Conviction, often has you and your husband, Marcus, praying. Your faith in God is obviously strong. Does that resonate with voters all over the land? Well, most people in the United States are people of faith, and the beautiful thing about the United States is we stand for religious liberty. No matter what a person's faith is or whether they have no faith at all, we uphold the right of people to stand for their faith. My husband and I are both committed Christians, and uh, we believe very strongly in our faith. And I think one thing that people would be surprised to find out about me in my book, Core of Conviction, they can go to michellebachman.com to get a copy or learn more, is the fact that my husband and I have broken hearts for at-risk kids. We've taken 23 foster children into our home over the years and raised them and launched them into the world. We also started the first K-12 charter school for at-risk children in the United States together with other families. I came from a family that was middle class, and my family lost nearly everything, and we went to below poverty. And I had to start uh, working as a young girl at age 12. I was babysitting because I had to buy my own glasses, my own clothes, because my mother, as a single mother, just simply couldn't afford it. So I think people will see a very different side of me, Michelle Bachman, when they read my book, Core of Conviction. I think a more human side and a side that isn't often told in the media. And I think it's important for people as they look at the presidential candidates to know a little bit more about what a person stands for, what my core of convictions are, what my motivations would be as President of the United States.